Hi there, today's video is about 9 tips to consider before buying a franchise in a foreign country. You should know that you are not buying business system, you are renting it. You are simply acquiring the rights to use a franchisor's business system, trademark, know-how for 5 or 10 years, depending on the term of the franchise and any renewal rights contained in the franchise agreement. Think of it as a lease. Your franchise renewal and assignment rights are not automatic. Virtually all franchise agreements allow for the right to renew for at least one term and permits a franchise to assign the contract. But there are always conditions and fees that go along with the exercise of renewal and assignment rights. If you don't meet those conditions, you won't be able to renew or assign. Critically access the franchise contract and all financial information given to you. Be very careful with signing the franchise agreement. Avoid entering a franchise agreement where both you and your family members have to guarantee the contract. It only means the franchisor has your family to sue if business fails. If at all possible, limit your exposure so that only one of you assumes all the risks. Trademarks. Does the franchisor own or control the trademark? If there is, it symbols that your franchise branding is a great one. Pricing for products. What assurances are there that products for sale by the franchisor can be bought by the franchisee at competitive prices? What if the products for the sale have to be shipped from another part of the country or another country? Have you factored in freight costs and duty? If the franchisor is not a member of the country's franchisee association, ask why not. Keep in mind you need a stable franchisee to secure your investment. Do not let your expectations get away from you. Like any other investment acquiring a franchise involves a high degree of risk. Some franchises work out very well, and some of them do not. Do not sell the concept to yourself. Be prepared to walk away. Hire a local lawyer, if you can, to secure and protect your interest. Franchisors pay their lawyers lots of money to draft standard, solid and enforceable franchise agreements that they can use with all their franchises, with little or no amendments. So should you to hire a lawyer to review and negotiate the franchise contracts on your behalf. That is all for today. If you have any questions or would like to speak to us for more details, contact us from down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.